the sky over downtown West Palm Beach along the waterfront. The city is putting the final touches on the show right now. It's a one of the most anticipated events of the year, and WPBF 25 is a proud sponsor of Fourth on Flagler. Our Caleb Califano joins us live from the waterfront. Caleb, crews are getting ready right now for the crowds. That is correct. They've been hard at work all morning and this 36th annual celebration is one you don't want to miss and they have plenty of events for you and the family. That includes live entertainment, a military honor ceremony, a children's zone, and you can't forget the 18 minute fireworks show over the intercoastal tomorrow night. Best view in the house. It is literally right there and um, 18 minutes of fun filled excitement. The city of West Palm Beach has spent the past few days preparing for one of South Florida's largest 4th of July celebrations with 80 to 100,000 expected to pack into Flagler tomorrow. The city is prepared for the influx of people. We always prepare. We've over prepared for water, making sure that people stay hydrated. We have misters that are out so people can take a break from the sun, stand in front of a mister. A lot of our areas and different sponsors have tents out that you know you can tuck back under. Otherwise, just along the seawall, there's always a nice cool breeze coming off the intercoastal. And of course, you can watch it all on our special fourth on Flagler. That's going to be on from a nine to nine thirty tomorrow night. For now, we're live in West Palm Beach. Caleb Califano, WPBF 25 News. And as Caleb said, if you are not heading to the event, you can watch the annual fourth on Flagler by tuning into WPBF 25. It's tomorrow night at nine. Chief Certified Meteorologist Chris Martinez and Community Ambassador Mike Lyons will host this year's fourth on Flagler. Covering North.